Oh, you weren't kidding. Look at this. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Now, this is Casper, and I'm going to give you light. Some light on it. Come on, light. Over here. Thank you. So this is a little robot called Casper. Hello, Hello Casper. Casper. Are you happy? Oh, he smiles and everything. He's what beautiful, does Casper he? do? Well, you know, robots are coming thick and fast into our homes. We have a robot vacuum cleaner here, for instance. That's why the castle looks so smart. Exactly. Yeah. But not as smart as Casper. Because Casper's there to try and... He's doing experiments on how to interact with people. Okay. So robots are going to be interacting with people in your home if they're doing much more complicated things. So mm -hmm. talking to you, smiling. He's learning how to do delays. Right. So he can delay in speech so that you get a chance to speak to him. And he's very good for children. They work with him a lot as well. Oh, really? And how does that mean? He, he's learning things, but obviously how do the children learn? What's he used for there? Well, one thing he does is they're, they're trying to do experiments at the moment on uh, therapy. Right. So robot therapy. Okay. And uh, the first experiments they've done are on children with autism. Okay. And it's had remarkable results. I'm really, I'm really touched by it, really. In what way? Well, he's worked with a child that won't speak to adults or other children, mm -hmm. just stands with his back all the time. Mm. And after a little exposure to Casper, he's come and cuddled it. And then, which is really remarkable, not having spoken to other children before, comes up, that child comes up and taps another boy on the shoulder wow. and says, come with me, and shows him Casper. And that's why it's important he has face expressions, because it's very yeah, reassuring. Yeah, it's very reassuring. Mm. But look, here's the, here's the fascinating bit. If you look into his eyes, well, there's two cameras there. That's right, yes. That's to take in the information. Yes, that's right. But, you know, he's really spooky, isn't he? Exactly, yeah, it's a, a quite realistic. That's spooky. called the Uncanny Valley. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, the Japanese call it that. It's from Freud. He called it the Uncanny, which is this thing of inanimate objects make give you the creeps because they suddenly look as if they're real right. animals. Got you, got you. So it's quite an interesting effect, And that helps the it? imitation because he's taken in what he sees. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, I'm going to demonstrate to you some of his imitation. Okay. Would you like to see that? Okay. Okay, we'll take this little drum and drum, and he will copy you. Okay, the cameras will see me do it. Yeah, keep right. it fairly simple. Okay, ready, Casper? Excellent, try do this. Do a little pause. That is utterly uncanny. I love that. That's it's brilliant. incredible, isn't yeah. it? It's incredible. Thank you very much, Casper. Thanks, Casper. Bye. Bye. Whoa. Whoa. Hey! Not as cute as Casper. What's this? This is Skeletron. Oh. Skelly to me, but Skeletron to you. Oh, Miss Skeletron. Skeletron to you, in Hello, fact. Miss Skeletron. Now, Skeletron is a fantastic thing. It, it's going to climb that rope for us. Wow. And it works by... You can see two fire extinguishers on there. Yeah, they look like, kind of like lungs. That's right. Yeah. That's CO2 gas. Okay. So it's a pneumatic system. But the secret of the thing, really, is two other little pneumatic rams, one in the feet, and one in the hands. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, the hands are grasping really hard. Mm -hmm. As soon as they release, the feet will come up because that piston will take them up. Right. And then what happens is the feet lock. So the like hands pull, lock, lock, release, pull, lock, pull, just like lock. a real rope. Blimey. But you know, like all other robots and animals in this castle, they have to respect and obey me. Good, that's what I like okay. to hear. So I'm going to tell Skeletron to climb now. Come on, Skeletron, climb! <laughs> a woman's prerogative. Climb! Look at her go! She is really something. Yeah! Climb! Come on, Tim, climb! That is an incredible mechanism. Oh, what is she doing now? Well, up to her tricks again. Well, here we go. <laughs> here we go. She's not a happy professor. That's not good. Hey! <laughs> Look, get down here, Skeletron. My castle wants you down here. Professor, I hope you never fail to amaze me. We'll try our hardest. We'll try our hardest. Come on, Joe, let's go. Hang on, what is that? What's that That's noise? That's my castle telling us it's time. 30 seconds.